Hi guys, and welcome back to the Mother channel. And today's video is not going to be me testimoning and complaining like it was in the last video, but it's actually going to be me doing an unboxing. As you guys know, I build models and I airbrush. And unfortunately, this used to be my old air compressor. This is a dime a dozen POS piece of junk that you get on eBay for as cheap as a dollar all the way up to a hundred bucks for this piece of crap. Well, it finally just wasn't cutting it. So I went to my local Ace Hardware and of all damn things that they had, they actually had a compressor. Now, I'm not being paid for this. This is what I got. I got the, uh, just says CH on it. It's, like I said, uh, uh, chpower.com is the name of the company that make this. And uh, it's a one gallon oilless compressor, 110 PSI max, way too much PSI for what I'm doing airbrush wise. 120 volts, um, 0.51 CFM at 40 PSI. Uh, 0 0.39 CFM at 90 PSI. So it's got some shit and get into it. Now I've already cut the, the tape off the top. And so yay, soft squidgy foam. Always a good thing. And plastic cover, always another good thing. Now let's see what's in the box. Get a little box of accessories, you know, various tips, needles, things like that. Stuff I'm never going to use. Um, and the actual compressor. Um, it's quite got a heft to it. I mean, I'm not exactly in the best shape in the world, but yeah. Um, has a, uh, well, apparently it was tested. And so uh, has a uh, pressure regulator on it. PSI coming in, PSI going out, so I can set the PSI to whatever. I hate that crap, so we're going to peel this shite off. Of course it has your blader valve here, so you can empty out the pan. Uh, typical 120 outlet wire, nice thick gauge. Looks like it's got no, oh there is a drain plug. There is a moisture drain plug. Nice, nice, nice. Looks like it's all been well, uh, well constructed. I mean, there's nothing coming apart. That's see, give it a good old hefty shake. What else is there? Oh, we've got some air hose. Nice. Comes with some springy air hose, which is a good thing. You know, that is a good thing. And the best thing is about this is the uh, air hose comes pre taped on both ends. What else is in here? Oh, that is. Uh, and of course the destruction manual. Uh, Campbell Hussfield is the company. Here we go. It's a Campbell Hussfield. Oilless compressor. After unpacking the unit, inspect carefully for any damage that may have occurred during transit. Make sure to tighten fittings, bolts, etc., etc., before putting into service. After the case, any cases or questions or damaged or missing parts, please call 1 800 543 6400 for customer assistance. Have the date, code, model number, and parts list with missing parts circled before calling. Okay, and uh, so we'll go through the destruction manual later. Now, this used to max out PSI wise at probably 25 to 30. Okay, if you're doing, yeah, this sucker max is at 110. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through like the instruction manual asks and double check everything. And uh, if everything's okay, the next part that I cut away to, you'll see the compressor in action. So I'll see you in the next part, guys. Hi guys, and welcome back to part two take two of this part of the video and of course we are looking at the, uh, um, the new air compressor I picked up and let me just set the PSI 
to about 30, 30-ish PSI. And I'm going to take this sweater off because it's actually getting to be quite warm in my house. Central heating's finally starting to kick in. Sorry about this. I know. Modeler stripping on cam. Woohoo. Okay. And so what you're seeing in front of you is some empty bo dropper bottles. Now, my wife vapes and um, she gets these, these juices in these little plastic dropper bottles, which are really cool because you can get a really nice, precise flow and control. And what you see here is we have one of my basic white primers that I have here. And I'm coming out with my own uh, paint sets for certain sci-fi model kits. Um, I'm still in the process of getting the formulas down right, but they will come in these sort of dropper bowls. I contacted the manufacturer and I got a really nice price on a bulk deal. So look for seeing those soon. Um, and of course, I mean, I'm making my own color recipes. This one here is a uh, Kelly green. And I've got an OD green, uh, various yellows used by the Germans in uh, Africa and various other nations. Uh, purple, of course, because everyone likes purple. My wife does anyway. Browns, you name it, for oil, mud, things like that. They're all acrylic based and they're all water based, so you, you can use your, your typical thinners. Now this one is a metal thinner I'm formulating, um, which I can't really go into much detail about that. Um, it's going to be formulated to thin the uh, folk art style metal paints. And uh, another paint brand you can easily get. Uh, this is my uh, dark green pigment. This is a custom color I designed. It uh, looks black, but when it dries, it dries a really nice, rich, dark green. Um, again, um, back to the actual compressor itself. I've got it set for 40 PSI, uh, 35 PSI, sorry. Take my needle cap off. Quiet flow. Of course, the compressor is, turn is still on, but of course, it sto stores uh, X amount of air before releasing. Um, in needing refilled. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some white here so we can get a simple how's your father sort of thing. I'm going to grab a Wounded Warriors template that I have here. I use, use it a lot for airbrushing uh, computer cases, customizing uh, gaming consoles, things like that for some of my veteran friends. Simple control and we're just going to A simple quick spray pattern. Again, this is 35 psi. Put it away, and there you go. It's a nice little compressor. It's designed for air paint uh, for painting automo automotive cars, and so you can get. And again, I am using my uh, my own custom paints on a. Um, so 2020. This is the uh, older variant, the one that still has the original uh, smaller connector, not the newer one that came out. Paints just amazing. Well, this paint's formulated that I made is just amazing. And now, uh, of course, we can then just grab some purple. We can actually mix on the fly. That's how well these paints are designed. Again, I'm not just advertising my paints. I'm just showing the simple quick product. Mixed it in the cup. It's a nice simple formula. It's designed to work at even lower pier size. Let's bump this down to prove it. We are now down to 20 psi. get even more control at the lower PSI settings as you can see see so
double check and make sure she was set 20. And just a simple quick mix change in the cup. Of course if you want a dark colour. I am currently working on getting a, uh, a rich red, blood red colour. Uh, again I am working on the formulation for both paintbrush and airbrush. That's why it's taking me quite a while is I am trying to custom combine two sets of paints. So when you buy it, when, when you get the sets, you'll get two sets. One will be a uh, airbrush set, the other one will be a paintbrush set. You actually get two sets and when you buy it. This is the airbrush set, as you can see. Nice, simple, thin controls. We're still rocking at 20 psi. Compressor still hasn't kicked in, but there you go. It's nice, it's simple, and yeah. Gonna get my magic thinner. And then water this sucker down. Of course, you always got to have a dump cup. Glaze over. There you go. See, paint. It's nice and thin. Nicely sprays. Nicely covers. And well, again, guys, I am working on this. Um, I do have some limited sets already made, given out to some friends for them to test and give back to me. They are modelers. One of which is uh, Dylan. Dylan Hogue. He uh, plays 40k. He actually recently purchased my Chaos Army from me. And uh, yes, I'm actually sacrificing by selling my, my some of my armies to get the finances together because I don't want to do a crowdsource. I don't want to do a crowdfunding or anything like that. Um, of course, the regulator says it can go up to a maximum of 100 and 200 PSI. Unfortunately, um, the actual compressor itself only maxes out 110. So bear in mind that you can, you know, go into some various dangerous extremely dangerous PSI ranges um, so I don't like to go above 60 because some some airbrushes especially gra uh, a siphon feed they max out at about 60 65 this being a gravity feed can max out at 40 um, I believe ba uh, it's on the Badger's website this thing ma maxes out at 40 and so yeah of course this is you know redneck rigged because I don't have a badger uh, air hose yeah but uh, as you can see guys it's a nice compressor um, of course when, when she fires up I mean I'll I'll get it off the compressor to fire up quickly put it up to 40 that's fine now you can really hear it this is 40 and the compressor is going to kick in Come on, kick in. I know you want to. Wow, this is a really good compressor. It's sitting at 80 something PSI. Normally it should kick in. And she is switched on. She's powered because she's running on the same strip as the blue. Two. One, you might want to turn your volume down now. See? the video and we're back the compressor finally finished back up to 110 psi max which is what the max this uh, unit holds so what do I think of the compressor I think the compressor is pretty freaking awesome um, of course I actually have now got a decent compressor I'm now back to painting the uh, uh, p51 Mustang uh, with the uh, uh, European theater stripes on it um, I'm also going to be doing a little bit of bare metal foiling trying to make it look like the plane uh, had taken a little bit of damage here and there in certain places and uh, and after that I do actually have the same scale uh, I have a, uh, a B17 on the way along with some strip LEDs so uh, they'll be coming over and I'll be using actually using some of the strip LEDs to light the inside of the bomber 
So that's what I got planned. Along with the uh, uh, Deep Space Star Trek Deep Space Nine Cardassian Galore class ship, along with my Reliant uh, Star Trek uh, USS Reliant AMT release kit. So yeah, I do actually have a, quite a lot of plans. I'll be also heading back over to the Assimilated Enterprise, which is over there, working on that, retrofitting the stand for the Klingon T7. So yeah, I will be going back over some older models that I have and uh, bringing them back to life, if you will. So yeah, look forward to seeing those in, uh, in a few video updates. Until then, guys, take care. And uh, I'll, I'll take care, peace and love, and I'll see you on the dark side.